Well, fans are having fun. We're having snow flurries. Yeah. Catch some free, free snow. It's Mother Nature's gift to us tonight. Comes up Nolan Jones. Nolan Jones has not gotten going yet, boys. We've seen him uh, struggle quite a bit. I think the thing that's been alarming for me watching Nolan has been the strikeout. Yeah, and I, I think again, uh, being aggressive early in counts, we saw that first pitch kind of middle, middle, Huey. That's the one I'd like to see him kind of fire at. You know, agreed, but you know how it is. Sometimes you feel like, okay, tonight I'm not going to be quite as aggressive when I go up there. And then that's a, that's the time you get that pitch that you got like, man, I should have tried to swing at that. And then vice versa. But that's now 30, it's a 31 strikeouts on the year for Nolan. Well, he's 0 for his last 13. That's a six punch out tonight for Luis Castillo. Well, for Casillo, he's kind of got it going tonight because we mentioned the numbers coming in, but this is right in line with the starting pitchers, starting pitching, excuse me, for the Mariners and what they have done. The first 12 ball games here, four and eight was a 639, but the last seven, a 181. That's why they're improved so much. Yeah, won five of their last seven, swept the Reds in their last three. And the Reds are a good team. They're missing McLean bad, very bad. Two strikes to Doyle. It's an interesting arm action from Castillo, too. He's throwing a four seam fastball, but almost like a three quarter arm. Well, he's got a career 119 whip. Popped up in the air, Ty France looking at snowflakes, and he'll catch the baseball. I will say this too, when it's cold like this, when you're winning, it's not quite as cold. No. Bouchard had a rough play last inning you always want to make up for it offensively but you also try really really hard to make it up offensively and end up never doing what you want to do this is another pop up to the infield ty france underneath it he, he can't find it, it. the he snowflakes got him you can tell he had no idea where it was What's crazy about this play is I, I was watching Josh Rojas. He was taking off across the diamond from third base because he could tell. He could tell that France was lost. You'll see him kind of sneak up behind the. There he is, coming in, sprinting across. The helpless feeling when you're inside a snow globe. <laughs> yes, we are in a snow globe. Ground into third, Rojas will go to second to Polanco, and that will retire the Rockies. Well, after five, the Rockies are trailing the Mariners seven to nothing. We are in the slow snow globe. Oh, what a perfect night to bring your kids, bundle them up, get them out of the house. This future's bright. Catch some snowflakes, and he's had <laughs> enough of the snow globe. He's cold. He's had enough. He's cold. Let's go get him a hot chocolate. The Rockies are trailing the Mariners right now, seven to nothing. They went Dakota Hudson by Victor Vodnik. Vodnik gave up his first career runs and now brings in Tyler Kinley for his ninth appearance. Tyler's still trying to find his way right now. We know his stuff is so good. It's just been a case of consistent strikes. Now, I was thinking about this the other day with Tyler Kinley, and I know it's his second elbow surgery. 
but I always feel like that second year after my elbow surgery, the second year I felt like I could throw a baseball 105 miles an hour, but I had no idea where it was going. It, it's just kind of rediscovering that arm slot, making it consistent, but your arm feels so good. After dealing with so much pain yeah. for so long. Uh, he's going no sleeve, so he might be dealing with some sort of pain, some cold pain. We've seen pictures, though, that they're crazy that way, saying, I don't need sleeves. It just tightens up my elbow, where I just feel constricted. Hanniger flies one into center field. Doyle giving chase. He's at the track. And he'll bring it in. Not quite as high as Sean Bouchard's fly ball, where Ty France <laughs> lost it. But that ball was well struck from Mitch Hanneker. Brings up Cal Raleigh. Perfect on the night. He's aggressive base. Yeah, he's he's one of those guys who will go up there and hunt first pitch fastballs. And if you give it to him, he's going to find the barrel. Raleigh, another base hit to right field. Three for three on the night, a home run and two singles. It was a third round pick for Seattle in 2018 out of Florida State. So Crowley swings at 38% of the first pitch he sees. I thought it'd be higher. I did as well. It's Ty France. make a play no it's upper deck all the way down to the bottom and then we had two men fighting for it <laughs> Come on. at least it wasn't a kid we'll go at it again ding ding that one stayed up there and there's a ghost in the front row look at that <laughs> Admire all the hardy souls. Oh, they're it's crazy. Great. It's great. Love Rockies fans. Oh, and the baby just enjoying mom. Two two count to tie France. This is in the air to left field. Nolan Jones tracking. And he'll bring it in. He's also going to take a shot at Cal Raleigh. <laughs> Why not? Well, Raleigh was pretty far off first base, seeing if it was going to fall. So being in the outfield, the wet grass, like, would you guys ever change your spikes? Yes. I, well, I always wear metal spikes, if that's what you no, mean. No, 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 like, like they get wet. Yeah, they oh, get yeah. wet, yeah. Absolutely. Because in the infield, we don't worry about it as much because we're on the dirt. Ground in McMahon, McMahon stays down. And Tyler Kinley will get out of the city. The Rockies are going to run and find some heat, and hopefully they're going to warm up their bats. They're trailing 7-0.